and I'm sitting here with someone I, I talk about him, I brag about him a lot to you guys, uh, Michael Johansson. He owns Swedish Fitness, Better Bodies and Gas. I have a lot of fucking respect for this guy because his business savvy is is very legit. So we just go on, he's breaking some stuff to me, breaking some stuff down to me right now about business and soaking it up. So I'm gonna let y'all in on a little bit. I can't give y'all a secret stuff, just a little bit. Um, uh, what we were talking about before, you know, like when you get more people on board, mm -hmm. like the, how important it is, you, you know, that you discuss, uh, you know, collaboration, you, um, and uh, um, collaboration and the meetings is uh, is key. That's mm -hmm. work, right. and execution is just what it is. Execution. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people they spend too much time in the execution, like they give information, I give facts, and you say like you know do this work, or uh, and then you ex go away, and then they expect it to. Uh, work flawlessly mm -hmm. uh, and the more people you have and working in a team the uh, you, you will see uh, it will not succeed so good so it's a little bit like uh, someone is doing dishes and someone is doing vacuum and they don't talk to each other you mm -hmm. know you know how to do vacuum and you know how to do dishes right. but it's going to be divorced because you don't talk so much right i think part of my problem was last year um, when I would hire people, I would kind of assume that they knew. I would give like this yeah, an okay. idea of what I wanted done. Yeah. And then I would just be hands off. Yeah. And that's and uh, facts and it's uh, information, mm -hmm. but it's not communication. Right. So uh, when you're, you know, let's say you are sharing a house and and uh, you make plans for the future and, and you have, you know, dreams and visions together mm -hmm. and you have goals. And then you can go and vacuum, and you can go and and do dishes, right. and it goes really good. Right. But if you don't have that discussions together, it will be, yeah. And it's the same thing in in the, in the work life too. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, you know, this is uh, things that uh, you, you know we make revelations in all the time. How important it is to have communication, right. and not just give information. Right. So how do you, how do you, because you have a lot of employees, like how do you stay on top of everybody? Yeah, we talk a lot. Okay. And uh, you know, when we go out from uh, from a meeting and someone says, oh, now the meeting is over, now uh, I can go and work, then you need to deal with that right away. Mm -hmm. And so this is work, you know, being in the meeting, doing the meeting, talking about stuff, and making sure that uh, you can talk about anything with everybody, then uh, execution goes so much easier. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think my biggest problem was communication with yeah. people. And those who've worked for me, mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't communicate that well. But no, I can see that now. Yeah, I didn't communicate yeah. enough. Yeah. You know, I expected people to... Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and the more complicated stuff gets, uh, the more important it is, mm -hmm. and uh, the more stressful the situation is, the more important it is to stop and and and, and do uh, and have the meeting and have the communication, uh, because that's uh, that's how you you know you can deal with execution mm -hmm. in a in a better and faster way. Mm -hmm. So, and it's it's very easy to get lost in this. Right. I'm not saying that I'm, you know, we are super good on this, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, we talk a lot, mm -hmm. and uh, we talk a lot about anything and everything, even if it hurts. Right. You know, uh, sometimes it uh, is, uh, you know, feels awkward, or mm -hmm. you know, or it is yeah, some. Sometimes you, you know, you get sad. Right. You know. But I find that that's maybe one of my issues that. I do have with people sometimes when I'm talking to people, maybe I'm too direct, too straightforward. I don't know, and I tend to kind of bruise egos, mm. and I'm not trying to, because you know the way that I was raised and the way my father taught me, he just told me straight up like mm. he always taught me like you gotta accept constructive criticism, yeah, you gotta accept the no, you know all of those lessons. So I've always been all right with taking yeah. that hard information, 
you know, as long as it's gonna help me. But I, I, I tend to find myself dealing with people who can't really take it that well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they kind of like, I don't know, it, it, it seems like I'm just coming down on people and, you know, they kind of shut down. Yeah. I don't know. No, I think uh, that's, uh, you know, you can be good on information and uh, the better you are on information uh, and also having, uh, you know, a, a position, uh, a leadership position, uh, then um, it's easy that you get interpreted the wrong way mm -hmm. and uh, really have to be careful with, uh, uh, with information and instead of uh, trying to be, be good at communication, you know, and you know, you're listening and, and see where people are, uh, you know, sometimes you get really surprised. You really think that people are, you know, up with you, they are level with you, they, uh, you know, understand exactly when, because you are talking, mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, information, they should understand what, you, what you're thinking and stuff like that. But uh, uh, it's, uh, um, if you stop a little bit and slow down the tempo and try to see where people are, mm -hmm. and then you communicate. Then it's gonna go much more easy. Right. Yeah, well, thank yeah. you for that. That's that makes a lot of sense. It's crazy. It's so, something so simple as just slowing down, communicating yeah. properly. I, I never even thought of that. Yeah. You know, because you know, you you've been where I'm at, and plus some. So, and it's all kind of new to me. So I'm like moving fast, and yeah. I'm expecting everybody to keep up and. I get frustrated when somebody's not, and I'm like, yeah. you know, so, but that's not the right approach I'm yeah. seeing. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you know, back in the days uh, when I was doing my little bit of my fitness career, mm -hmm. uh, then it was all about me, myself, and I, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I, and I did it because I didn't want to be in a sport, like a team sport or anything mm -hmm. like that, but, uh, 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 because I want to make sure that whatever I decided or did or anything, you know, that should have the full effect on on the results. So, um, but now today I'm I'm very depending on having a great team that is uh, they feel good and they're you know having a good personal development, mm -hmm. and the better personal development they have, uh, the better uh, things go. And, uh, and and that's how I also um, make sure that I have my personal development through them mm -hmm. instead of you know trying to uh, to kind of be on top of everybody so mm -hmm. to say right 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 all right so some advice I um <clears throat> last year um, I signed on a few people to sponsor now I noticed that with anything that I do, my my fans or followers or whatever, they don't really care too much about the people that I sponsor as much as my, they care about me, because they're fans of Mike Rashid. Mm. So I noticed like if I post something for somebody else, they're not too interested, mm. right? But that never that didn't deter me from still working with these people mm. and trying to develop them because I, I felt like. You know, if I could help make this person a star, mm. it'll help build my brand. And I, honestly, I like, you know, I don't know if that's like my ego, but I want to be behind the brains or whatever, behind somebody's success. Mm. You know, so, but I notice like, <clears throat> there's sometimes that I do help people advance and you know, they, they take it and run with it, mm. you know, with, with, with very little to no acknowledgement yeah. On my contributions to what they've done, and it really hurts my feelings. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, but am I being too ambitious? Should I not be trying to take on so many people? Should I just focus on the direct bottom line of my businesses, or is it okay to want to help? And yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Me um, personally, I, I think that uh, 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 luck comes to those people that uh, is trying uh, the most times, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, uh, and success 
goes you know the same way if you talk with really successful people and you you try to see how they you know let's say you you play basketball or you know any any sport at all and uh, what what it comes down to is that they are trying all the time they are trying more than the guy who comes uh, who comes second or or third or down the line mm -hmm. so so i think it's just a matter of trying all the time and uh, not take a failure because you need to be, uh, you can't be afraid to fail, mm -hmm. uh, because then you can't win. Right. So, so you need to realize that there will be some fail, mm -hmm. you know, on the way. Right. But uh, uh, it's needed, and it's a part of the of the of the growing. Mm -hmm. But uh, then I think also a little bit like the cultural fit, mm -hmm. you know, to make sure that you have people around you that has the right cultural fit. Right. That's like key. And after that, uh, you can form a team where you know where you help each other. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, it's like uh, like anybody around us. If if they don't have the right cultural fit, it doesn't matter how good the information is, and it doesn't matter really. You know, if you are really good on communication, mm -hmm. it will show that this was not the right cultural fit. Right. Okay. Uh, we shouldn't do this together. Okay. So so. Um, not uh, so much about information between two parties, mm -hmm. uh, you know, lift that up to communication between two parties mm -hmm. and then you will see that do we have the right culture fit to do this project together mm -hmm. and, then, uh, and then you communicate a lot and then it will be successful okay. and they will not run with it, okay. they will grow with it, right. yeah. Makes sense. But if you... If you leave people alone mm -hmm. and just expect them to run their, you know, their part of the agreement by themselves, mm -hmm. then it will be cut and dry, mm -hmm. and they, you know, anybody will kind of uh, lose uh, lose the perspective and uh, you mm -hmm. know what's the vision and what's the goal, right. uh, you know, and then they stray off. Okay. So, sense. so the lead uh, is a lot of uh, leadership in this. And, and everybody has the uh, responsibility to, 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 to be a good leader, like, like anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, so we talk about that a lot in our team, right. to take a leadership position, you know, regardless if you are the CEO or mm -hmm. if you are working the floor in the warehouse, whatever it is, you always have a leadership right. a role to play. Right. So. Okay. Good. Well. I can't give y'all no more secrets. The rest is for me. So we're about to sign out. Thank you so much for that information. Yeah, yeah. it's cool.